hello everyone welcome back to the channel <laughs> already it's me antonio oh wait let me take this mask off back with another video today just got out of the gym it's a nice good gym workout it's actually uh there's actually a handful of people in the gym today not too bad you know um guys in there working out gay fellows in there working out <laughs> catching a glimpse of a young fellow and stuff you know when you get comp as i'm as a straight man when you start getting compliments from gay men you know you're attractive regardless of what anybody says it can be the swag it can be the look it can be whatever <laughs> they can see you they can see you talking to and the whole reason for shooting this video is i actually so i i called approach someone today something i hadn't did in years you know um this 27 year old young woman you know she you know not to say i wanted to you know I wasn't entertaining any sexual desires or anything like that. She's been working there at this gym uh, for about a year and a half. So viewing that, that shows me a level of consistency, being able to work her work a job. Um, so finally, you know, <laughs> after a year of vetting her <laughs> and her seeing me coming in and out of this gym every day, um, you know, I finally started dialoguing with her a couple days ago. Um, and for the most part, it's Friday, so I'm going to give my, my honest assessment. For a 27-year-old woman <laughs> who's out in, in public every day, um, has friends, you know, I, you know I, I, I entertained a mild conversation with her, even though I saw some things that were like red flags. Seems like an overall good person. She's a conner, a calmer, you know, she goes out to... No Ninja Warrior cons, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming all, all other types of cons, comic cons, and you know, cosplaying and all that types of stuff. You know, she works in the gym. She's mildly fit, um, black chick, um, mostly all natural from what I can tell. I haven't seen her in weave or anything for over a year. My whole, I started a conversation with her yesterday about how she processes her hair and what she puts in her hair to take care of her hair. I wasn't, hey. I said, you got tights on. Let me see your big ass and all this. No, man. Man, stop doing stuff like that. You don't got to do that. But even having a level one conversation where she couldn't even keep up. like, And I, I seem like... <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I seem like I had 21 questions. So I had to slow it down so that she can like comprehend or have time to answer my questions. It was like... To be a 34-year-old man trying to have a conversation with a 27-year-old woman, remembering back to middle school and high school when they say how women mature faster than guys and all this stuff. At this point, we're supposed to be on the same level, right? This is marriage age, 34-year-old <laughs> man and 27-year-old, 20, uh, seven years apart, the perfect number. But, and I hope she, I hope if she do see this video one day, because I'm going to network with her, <laughs> like. You're the type of person that likes to go like to go to Gencon and go to Ninja Warriors and that type of stuff. You know, even speaking with her in that little five, ten minute area, I'm like, you seem such, like such a shy, timid person. But you're doing brave things like going off to other states and other cities to do these big giant tournaments. Are you going to be on TV? <laughs> she laughed. So, you know, it wasn't all, you know, I, I don't have anything bad to say about her. It's just my honest assessment of women. Again. They'll stare at you all day long, but they won't say hi. <laughs> They'll try their best to put on these, these tight dresses and they tights to try to get a man to come speak to them. But they'll never approach a man. They'll never entertain a mildly successful, like they, they can't even hold a conversation. <laughs> so all the years of being rejected by women and things like that, I kind of understand. You know, it's like, what else do you have to offer other than you know, keep your mouth shut and then we can judge you off of that. You know, that's what you've been judged off of for years. That's what is expected of you. So when someone likes like someone likes me or what someone I can't even say it right. It's a distraction, all the noise and the cars and all these things it's messing up my visual stream. Of conscious of the way I'm thinking and things like that. That's why I wear headphones a lot, hoodies and things like that to protect my energy. But, you know, again, you know, this is not a dude that gets turned down by chicks left and right. I do down the, I do the turning down at this point in my life. I've been turning down women for the past 10 to 12 years. <laughs> women trying to, trying to have kids with me at 22 years old. Like, 
I don't have time for that. I'm trying to vote for Obama. <laughs> that mistake. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's interesting. You know, I've had I've had my situations, um, almost um, bearing a child with older women and things like that, and um, having to be realistic about you know my my situation or my place in life and you know things like that, being equally yoked. Um. But women, man, it's so funny. No, no matter what, hey, they talk about men and what men like. They get mad at men for talking to younger women. But everything you do is to look younger, especially when you start getting older. But you want to bash men for looking at or for trying to talk to younger women. But you're trying everything in your power to stay youthful and young. <laughs> like such hypocrites. <laughs> man, it was so many. So it was so many days where. You know, just being a good fellow. I've been in a relationship for almost eight years or so. Seven and a half. Whatever you, whatever you want to call the last six months. Um, and, you know, I, I've never been. I never, I've never had to cheat or anything like that. You know, I look at ass. I'm a man. Women need to stop trying to turn men into women. A man is going to look at an ass. What you want him to look? What, do, you want, do you want him to look at a man's booty when a, when, a, when a man walks by? Is that what you want? Do you want him to look at a man's zipper when a, when a man walks by? Be comfortable with your man. He's with you. So if he happens to see a lady that has nice hair, let him compliment her. Or if, a, or if he sees a, a lady with a, 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 a nice ass, as long as he's not ogling and Googling over her, like, the heck? You like what you like. When your man goes to a restaurant and he picks out something that he likes, you envy him, don't you? You dig your fork and your fingers into his plate. It's the same thing. Let the man look at the ass. You looking at ass too? <laughs> I can guarantee every woman that I've been in a relationship with has looked at more ass than I have because that's what women do and they're around each other all the time you see how far-fetched that almost sounded me being a man how can a man how can a woman look at more ass than a man all the talk about how y'all dress because y'all dress for each other butt cheek and butt cheek too y'all hang around each other 24 7 Y'all change clothes around each other all the time. Y'all go out on girls trips and get stuck out of town with each other. So yes, women look at more ass than men. But yeah, it was it was a an enlightening experience, man. You know, cold approaching women. <laughs> man, you can be the ugliest dude in the world, but if you got a halfway good talking game, man, you better ask Biggie Smalls. You better ask the Notorious B.I.G. You better ask Jay Z. You better ask all these ugly mofos. And I don't consider myself, again, I never considered myself to be an ugly person. Even after a horrible uh, medication that I got from uh, the hospital caused a nuclear reaction on my face. <laughs> and even though my face is still scarred, I'm still beautiful. <laughs> Look at my eyes. But yeah, women, man, you gotta know that it's more than just your body. You can get a man, but is the man going to keep you? Can a man come home at the end of the day, get a massage on his shoulders and exchange business plans and business ideas with you? <laughs> like, and I felt like, I felt, I didn't feel this way because that's not me, but it's like, damn, am I, am I that smart? Is she that slow as a 27 year old woman being able to communicate? Is she that shy? Is she that timid? You know, everyone's different. It could, it, there's another, it doesn't, it's not about the age either. Cause these little 18 year old hot girls, these little 22, 21 forever little girls, they snap on a man. They won't even let him finish educating her. As Soon as they feel like he's talked a big word, they don't want to listen no more. <laughs> and that's the world that we living in nowadays. And uh, all these people, that don't want to do the work now, 10 years down the line, when it's time for everybody to get off this planet, when it's time for the rapture, y'all wondering why all the good people dying. They getting taken up out of here. 10 years from now, five years from now, it can be two years from now. When you didn't do the work that you were supposed to be doing today or do the work that you were supposed to be doing yesterday because you worried about your hair weave or you worried about your Jordans. It's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late for me to come and get you. It's gonna be late for the meet for, for all the watchers, all the chosen ones, the people that's been trying to talk some sense into you. You ain't gotta listen to us all the time. 
Just like the humans don't even use, they, they only use 10% of the brain. Take 10% of the knowledge that the people's putting out there. <laughs> Cause I get sick and tired of, it's the same thing. The same thing y'all see Kevin Samuels, hate dropping names. But the same thing you see Kevin Samuels do on his little show at, uh, three, uh, two, three nights is the same thing I used to do at call centers while doing work. Got my feet up at the desk, doing more work than the supervisors and the bosses of the company. Meanwhile, I'm working in a, in a, in a room, an air conditioned room full of women that all want to get under my skin. Just like he can zoom six to 10 women at the same time and tell them about themselves and give them advice. That's the same thing I used to do at work. Where every, where my coworkers sitting next to me that wanted to twerk more than type they wanted to ask me stupid questions versus listen i'm trying to tell you how to start small <laughs> print up some print up some business cards like they had ideas back then that's the crazy part about the 2021 and the whole black magic the black girl magic and the empowerment of women doing all the things these i was talking to them about these things years ago down here in south florida working call centers for nine years, 10 years. <laughs> they looked at me, they made fun of me. Like, nigga, what you talking about? <laughs> These same women be in my inbox on whatever social media platform. And just like how they like to post their ass pictures, anytime I post a picture of me spreading because I got it, you got your youth and your good looks while you got them, right? You wanna post them, right? Well, while I got my cash, while I got my, see, people need to stop bashing people. Oh, he wanna put his money up online. Cause I got it. If I had it, I wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> like, come on. It's always an excuse. It's always an, an, an exception to the rule. Keep an open mind. Keep a clear channel. Learn something new every day. Can't even hold a decent conversation with women in public, man. They don't even know what to say. They don't know how to talk. They don't know what to talk about. They don't know what attracts men other than ass. <laughs> They don't know what they're doing out here. They're just, I can't even say they're flowing, man. I can't even say they have freedom. It's a sad, sad thing. It's like, I may be, I may be attracted to you, but it's like, I'll never know what type of personality you have if you never speak or if you never express yourself. I just heard somebody say that not too, not too long ago. Like, you can be beautiful, you can be gorgeous and all this, but if I don't know your personality, what 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 what, what difference does that make you from someone else? Then the first thing you ask me when I, when I say, hello, lady, you either say, get away from me, I don't feel like talking to niggas today, even though I was just trying to say good morning. It's a shoot around the corner with an AK that's killing everybody, but you don't want to hear me. So go ahead and go, go around the wall and get shot up then. It's either that or how much money you make, what's in your wallet, rude, disrespectful questions. But you'll have me, you'll have a problem with me asking you what's your bra size. <laughs> you wanna ask me what's in my wallet or what's in your bra size? What's the most disrespectful question? Let's go, let's banter, let's go back and forth, let's debate. Who can, who can ask the most disrespectful questions that we just met each other? And this is not me ranting, this is just me getting the opportunity to express myself on this good Friday. I know I like Fridays. <laughs> no, I like Fridays. That's my day, man, that's why all my my wisdom, my wisdom and my inspiration strikes on Fridays, man. When I used to be on the corporate plantation, I couldn't wait till Friday came. As <laughs> soon as I had lunch, after lunch break, man, it is time to go. Happy hour. Sometimes that check would be short two, three hours. <laughs> but it'd be like that sometimes. You got the bus driver. I've never seen a bus driver get off at this bus stop. I wonder if it has anything to do with me recording a video on the bus stop. I know everyone's probably in the bus looking out the window right now. <laughs> I saw this chick yesterday. She was pretty nice. Um, yeah, I, really, I rarely come around these parts. I used to when I worked and I used to be on my way to work in the morning. I used to catch this bus stop. so. Just me touching back on the areas I used to frequent. But yeah, man. Interesting day. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get some, some straightening, some inspiration, telling you a little bit about these chicks, man. I'm going to start putting them on videos. Man, you know, like those comedians. 
that walk up to a chick and be like, rate yourself. And these females say the most outrageous things. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing things like that as well, man. These people. Okay. Hey. They um very one track minds. They don't really possess a whole lot of intelligence. You know. This is what we're left with here on this planet, man. The original woman left a long time ago. Lilith left a long time ago, and we're stuck with Eve, a shell of a woman. It's a shame. It is a shame, man. But that's all for now. I ran it entirely too long. I could probably go for another 15 minutes, but the deeper I go, the more triggering it gets for some people. Because I just get deep like that, man. I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to point out some things. I'll just say it like this and close this out. There's people out there with secrets. There's families out there with secrets about how the uncle in the family, and this is just make believe, how the uncle in the family sexually harassed and assaulted all the young girls in the family, but no one wants to speak about it. <laughs> I don't know what the bus driver just said to me, but she said something about scissors. I guess I must be very inspirational, uh, bright light today. Everyone wants to speak. Dogs want to bark at me. <laughs> the bus driver wants to get off the bus and speak to me today. But the thing is, cops and stuff driving by. So the thing is, When the secret finally gets out that all the moms, the aunties and grandmoms was trying to keep a secret. They'll want to try to find a person that exposed the secret and badger them and make them feel bad. Where's the justice? Instead of going after the person that righted the wrong, y'all go out, y'all go after the person that outed everybody and try to make them into the bad guy and call them crazy. Yeah. And that's the problem, misdirection. Y'all can't even think straight. Y'all don't even have your mind on the right things. Using that example. Y'all trying to hide the family secret instead of trying to fix the family problem. <laughs> they ain't gonna like me, man. This what makes me afraid of my own celebrity. This what makes me afraid to become the next Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Fred Hampton, next black president of the United States. I get afraid of the shit that I say. Anyways, man, y'all be safe. I'm gonna catch y'all later.